Hello, this is T from T's Jams. I'm here just to do a simple tutorial on how to convert RPG Maker MV tiles to be compatible with Tile D Auto Terrain and not only Auto Terrain but Auto Terrain Animated. Let's check it out. So, if you've used RPG Maker MV, you're familiar with this tile set. This is an auto tile tile set from that engine. We need to convert that so that it's compatible with Tile D. I'm not going to explain how to do that during this tutorial, but I will give you a resource. On RPG Maker forums, there's a great thread that shows how to do this. It has an awesome exclamation, explanation, if I could speak. And I will put a link in the description below. So, this is what the tile set looks like when you begin. When you're done converting it, this is what it should look like in the end. Now this isn't going to work natively in the Tile D tile set. We have a little more work to do. Let's check it out. In Tile D, we want to get to our tile set. Let's see, where is it? No, 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 don't do that. Yeah, here we go. And this is already completed, but I will empty one just to show you how it works. It will be blank like this all across the board. You're going to have to make a name. In this one, and it's in, in this instance, I called this Dark Grass 2. And then you want to fill it in with this little blue icon, just like this. The first square, you fill in the outside. And for the second square, you fill in the inside. Now we're done. This is going to work on our Tile D map. Let's check it out. We have a map with nothing on it, just a ground layer that's completely empty. Let's look for this dark grass too that we just filled in and go ahead and fill it in. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Now, let's say we want a river running through this. First off, we'd have to make a new layer. So let's call that river. And I have a animated auto tile terrain set up already. Let's make this river. I'm going to show you how, how to do that now. Let's look at the auto tiles from RPG Maker MV. This is the native format for an animated auto tile. We're going to grab each one of these frames and put it in a different tile set. Now this, this is something, when you start doing this, you'll get your own workflow and you can set it up whatever way you want. But just make sure it's equally divisible by your grid size. My grid size is 24, so the, the length of the side is equally divisible by 24, and the width is equally divisible by 24. You'll see why that's important in just a minute. Let's get back to tile D. So, in order to set this up, we need to make that not only a terrain, but we also need to make it animated. So first, making it a terrain, of course, we are going to click the terrain tool, which I forgot to mention before. When you're adding terrains, you need to click this tool and add a new terrain here. Now this is already done, so I'm not going to add a new terrain. But this one I called Town Pond. And I just painted it the same way I painted the other one. It's great. If we wanted to use this river on our map, we could, but it wouldn't be animated. I'm going to show you how to animate that now. Go up to Tile Set and click Tile Animation Editor. That'll open this window where we will take each one of these grids and animate them individually. In this case, let's animate this first corner tile. We're going to double click each. Oop, no, we don't want to do that. So let's start from start from scratch. Okay, we're going to double click each corner tile. And as you can see, that already animates if you look in the preview down here, but that's a really fast animation. So we're going to change that to the, the default animation speed for MV. I'd recommend while you're doing this that you copy this because then you could just paste in the rest. You're going to be doing this a lot because this is just one square. We need to do this for every single square on this image for every animated auto tile that we want to do. So now that that's done, we go back to our map. Now that this is a terrain and it's also animated, when we go back to our map and click Town Pond, we can just draw it in and it's going to be animated and it looks pretty good to me. So 
I hope this helps you if you're having any trouble with getting your terrain tiles to work after they've been converted from the MV style and uh, also helps you to animate them afterwards. I want to give a special thanks to Arkea because she helped me to understand this quite a bit and she also wrote a plugin that makes it so you can use tile D and MV which is really really awesome. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!